Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm CB Harris and welcome back to the Monday Commute. So today I want to talk to you guys about something. It's not, you know, fresh in the news. It's uh, actually something that happened a little while ago, but I wasn't really doing videos. Uh, I was kind of slacking off a little bit and uh, I would like to address it now. So earlier this summer, uh, Colt Firearms filed for bankruptcy. Colt Firearms filed for bankruptcy. This is not a little mom and pop place, okay? This is Colt, one of the big boys. They filed for bankruptcy. Now, I'm sure, you know, some mismanagement, things like that could have taken place. But there really, there, there are two things that I think Colt forgot about and possibly led to the bankruptcy happening. One, they put all of their eggs, or in this case, their M4s, in one government basket, okay? They relied on a government contract to get them through. And really, I think that, uh, I think that bit them in the end. Now, Colt is the main manufacturer of the M4 for the United States military, and they had a major contract to provide however many units it was, uh, quite a few. Uh, the problem was that contract ended, okay? Now, I'm not saying there won't be some future contracts with the military, some ones and twos here and there, maybe some upgrades, some spare parts, and things like that. But once the military buys the number of firearms they need, they really don't replace them that often. You know, they, they, they will repair a rifle until it's really, there's nothing left of the original except for the lower receiver. One of the biggest problems was a couple of years ago, there was the, the big scare, okay? Everybody thought that AR-15, somebody was gonna ban them. Uh, it was right after the Sandy Hook shooting. Man, there were places popping up left and right making AR-15s. Some of them of kind of questionable quality. Well, guess who was not on that bandwagon? Holt. At that time, they were right in the middle of their government contract. Every M4, their AR-15 style weapon that they were making was going to the military. They really weren't able to capitalize on uh, the big buy, as I guess you could call it, the AR-15 buy that took place. They, re they really weren't ready for that. Uh, all of this kind of ties in together though because they also, they, they kind of have forgotten the buying power of the, just a regular American gun buyer, okay? Let's take, for instance, uh, another gun manufacturer, Ruger. Ruger, yeah, they may have some government contracts here and there, some small ones, um, but nothing like the big military contract that Colt had, nothing like that. But they market almost exclusively for the just American gun buyer, just the average person, and they consistently sell millions of firearms a year, okay, millions. If you sell a decent firearm at a decent price, people will come. They're gonna buy it. Colt, you are a big boy, okay? You are a very well-known brand. People are going to buy your firearms. All you have to do is give them a decent price and show them what you can give them. That's it. So I think the way ahead for Colt is that they need to realize that there are a lot more people outside the government and outside the military then there are inside. There are a lot more potential buyers out there, okay? Market to them. Don't forget about those people. Yeah, instead of being a big lump contract, you're selling onesies and twosies here and there, but there's a lot more potential out there, a lot more buying power. So anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave it down in the comment section. If you watch this video, I'm asking you to take a couple of minutes out of your life Leave a comment down below and let me know your opinion on the subject. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to uh, send me a, either a comment, send me a message here on YouTube, or you can send me an email at bombbuster72 at gmail.com. And be sure to come back on Thursday for a Thursday's training tip and next Monday for another Monday commute. And until next time, take care and drive safe.